Hey, 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 Ashley Alexander here. Before I get to my review, really, really, really big shout out to my homeboy Knotsworth. Knotsworth Wells is a bandmate of mine. I'm a singer beyond this. And he had a show tonight in Baltimore. And I want to give him all the love and respect because he's going to kill it tonight. And it's going to be sick. And I adore that man. And he's a wonderful artist. And go check out Knotsworth Wells. On to the review. I have the pleasure of doing Pharrell's new album. I'm doing it. I am the biggest NERD, back up, back up, back up, back up. I'm the biggest Neptunes fan probably running around this Northern Hemisphere, okay? I've always been a fan of all of them individually, in the group, and every little side project, Kenna and Robin Thicke and Leia LaBelle and everything else in between. I have been such, such a diehard fan and everything that Pharrell touches, I'm immediately sold for it. So. He has a new album that came out called Girl, which it's really, truly for the ladies. Straight up, it's for the ladies. The one thing I will say though, is it's not like in my mind, so it's not really rap like that. It's really, in my opinion, the aftertaste of hanging around Nile Rogers for a while. Like this is what happens when you hang out with Chic and get funky for a while. Like it just turns into this. It's not like Daft Punk really, it's more like kind of funky 80s kind of stuff. And his hooks are really on point and the songs are structured in such a classic kind of 80s way that I really am for it. Uh, uh, hopefully most of you know who I'm speaking of and a little bit of history about him. I have a soft spot for him because he's from the DMV and he's from Virginia and he's in the Neptunes with Chad Hugo and they do the most amazing work. In fact, last little place I saw Chad Hugo's face, I think, is in an internet, the internet video, don't you? I swear there's Chad Hugo at the end of it. Just, I, just throwing it out there. Somebody else second me because I think it's him. But anyway, my top three favorite songs from it are Hunter. Okay, okay, I like Hunter because I like Blondie. And when you hear the song, it's gonna rap a little bit and it'll sound like Blondie and it's for the girls and I really like it. That's why I like Hunter, number two. Definitely is Come Get It Bay. Obviously I've heard it in a couple of Red Bull commercials by now, it's only been like a week since it's been out, maybe a week and a half, but it's so catchy and I only hope that when he does it live, he's got like the sickest four lady dancers or like eight to shake it up in like blazers. I've got plans. I've got plans to tell Pharrell on how to do this song right. That's all I'm saying. Number one, I, I mean the title's awful, but I love Gush. <laughs> yeah, that sounds so awful to say. I love Gush. That's my favorite song. That's the one I sing all the time. That's the one I like the most. If anybody else sang it, I was singing in the car to a friend of mine. If anybody else sang it, like Usher or Mariana, Chris Brown, or one of those singers who dances as well, they kill this track. But I love Pharrell on it, like he really, it's just so graphic and cute all at the same time. I'm so for it. Whether you should download it or buy it or skip it, buy it. Buy it, buy it to make your collection complete with everything else that NERD and the rest of the Neptunes gang has done over time. Like just, to like have it so you know you have it. Happy's on it. You don't have to get the Spickle Me Too soundtrack to get happy. It kind of wins. Notice I didn't bring up Happy in my list, but that's because in my brain that's on the Despicable Me 2 soundtrack, so therefore to me, I'm not speaking on it. It's there. Everyone loves it. Congrats on almost being nominated, or almost winning. You were nominated for an Oscar. I'll get to that at another time. But if anything else, you can contact me at Always Double A in the YouTube comments or on Facebook or on Instagram or wherever else you find me randomly. And I will see you guys soon. And let me know what you think about it. Like, Guys, get into it. Like, he's singing to the ladies. I feel like if you pop it in the CD player with your chick in the car, she's gonna be cool with it. So, let me know what you think of it. Once again, Pharrell, you had a tremendous year. Next year's gonna be super sick. I'll see you guys with the next review. Later.